Hi, let's get over to the WordPress dashboard and have a feel of what you should be expecting in the WordPress dashboard. The key features you should be expecting with the WordPress dashboard includes your posts, your pages, a comment section, appearance and plugin, users, tools and the settings. For your posts, you should expect to, your post is a point where you can add new posts. Your pages also is a point where it will help you add new pages and also edit existing pages. And the appearance, the appearance option on the dashboard gives you an option of selecting teams, customizing teams, and the likes. The next you should look at for also should be your plugins. With your plugins, you'll be able to search and upload new plugins. And likewise, you should also expect to see your tools and your settings. Now let's go over to the WordPress dashboard as I'll walk you through all these one after the other. Thank you. Hi, once again, welcome to my dashboard, the WordPress dashboard. In some few minutes, I'll be walking you through the major items on the WordPress dashboard. I believe this will help people who are just using the WordPress dashboard for the first time. Now, if you look at the WordPress dashboard, you see that this is my home page. Scroll very close to the left, you'll notice that we have a post, you have your media, you have pages, you have comments. Now, I use a plugin called Rank Math. That's how you can see Rank Math on my dashboard. You have appearance, you have plugins, you have users, you have tools, and you have settings. Out of all of these, four of these will actually be of good interest to us today. We'll be looking at your post. On your post, this is where you post new articles. If I'm creating a new article, I'll put it on post. What I will do is go to add new. This is where you create new articles. Down after post, you see media. You will talk much more about media in little sections. Also, you see pages. Pages are like pages are like chapters. Think of your WordPress blog. Think of your website as think of your website as a a book. So your pages are like your chapters, and your posts are like units in your book. Now, so under your pages, normally we group posts under pages. Also, you see, go down, you come to appearance. Under appearance, this is where you actually put in your teams, where you customize your team, where you put in widgets, your menus. What's a menu? Let me just show you what your menus are. I'll quickly show you what menus are. Then I'll show you what widgets are. Now, let me, let me just quickly point out to you from my blog. I think... Let, let, let's look at content laboratories, then I'll show you what menus are on content laboratories. I want to go to content laboratories. Please hold on. System's a little bit slow. Okay, let me just scroll. Here is on content laboratories. Now, if you go to your, to any website, I don't have widgets here. I don't have widgets here. I don't have widgets here. Now, but this is this are, these are my menu options. These are the top menu options. They're my primary menu options. Privacy, contact us, meet IODG, review, and your blog. Those are the menu options I have. Now let's I want to use another blog to show you widgets so that you can take a look at um what widgets are. Let's see this website, I think. Let me see whether there's there are widgets here. This is an inbound rocket. Okay, it, it does not use widgets too. I don't use widgets. The I, I don't use widgets because I want my let me show you this. On content laboratories for now, I don't use widgets. Widgets normally appear at this side, at the left hand side or at the right hand side. I want my audience to focus on my content. That's why I don't use widgets for now. 
I can change tomorrow. You can come to my website and you might see widgets. But for now, I don't use widgets. But that does not mean widgets are wrong. They are good points. They are good marketing marketing instruments. Let me put it that way. Now, apart from appearance, you see your plugins. This is where you actually install plugins. You could add new plugins. You could edit plugin. But for now, I know you wouldn't be editing plugins. You can add new. You can install your plugins. Now, after then, you have your users. Users, this is where you control the number of people that actually create content for your website. Let me put it that way. Then you have tools. These are various tools you use. Then you have your, your settings. We'll actually deal with this in later session. I'll show you some major settings for your WordPress dashboard. Okay, I think I have for your WordPress dashboard. I've done that earlier. I would you'll see some major settings for your WordPress dashboard. With that said, I think on down here I have WP Cosware. That's actually a plugin I use for these courses. This is where that's what I use. But that's not the point of discussion for today. Thank you very much. See you in the next session. But please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Kindly hit the subscribe button so that you can get videos as I create them for my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.